briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The case began with a family dispute over the distribution of the late Robert Tensfeld's estate. His passing sparked a contentious legal battle among his children and his second wife, Constance, leading to a lawsuit. Robert's children alleged that two attorneys, Labude and Haberman, violated their professional obligations during this process, leading to an unfair advantage for Constance and a breach of Robert's divorce judgment. Labude, who was hired by Robert, drafted an estate plan that directly violated a divorce judgment, requiring Robert to leave two-thirds of his net estate to his children. This intentional act of disregarding a court order saw Laboud held liable. Haberman, on the other hand, was found culpable of negligence for failing to enlighten Robert about the potential impact of a precedent-setting case, Bravo v. Sauter. The lower court, however, dismissed all accusations against Haberman. The court reasoned that while Haberman gave poor professional advice, the evidence linking his negligence to actual harm to the children was too speculative. It also ordered the children's share of the estate to cover Constance's statutory attorney fees for the entire action, amounting to $444,000. Unsatisfied, the Tensfelt children, alongside Laboud, appealed the circuit court's ruling. At the heart of the appeal was whether Laboudi's motion for summary judgment on the negligence claim was wrongfully denied, and if the children had standing to bring a negligence claim against him under the renowned Auric exception. Meanwhile, Haberman's liability was also questioned whose negligence, although admitted, was not linked to any real harm to the children. After careful reviewing the facts, the Wisconsin Supreme Court reached its verdict, which carefully balanced affirmations and reversals of lower court decisions. It agreed with the lower court's decision to hold La Boudet liable for aiding Robert in breaking the court judgment. However, the Supreme Court did not uphold the lower court's dismissal of La Boudet's summary judgment motion on the negligence claim, finding that the children could not prove that his negligence thwarted Robert's intentions. While the court's decision gave some relief to Laboud and the Tensfelt children, it emphasized that neither good faith advice privilege nor qualified immunity would come into play. With these findings, the intense Tensfelt v. Haberman case was sent back to the circuit court for further proceedings and damage assessment. In conclusion, the case spotlighted the consequential role of attorneys and the grave implications of deviating from professional standards. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.